Hi, it's Mitz from My Life. Mitz, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would do a face-to-face -face voiceover and uh, share with you my journal process in my Hobonichi Techo. I have my video playing here down below, so uh, I may once in a while talk about the video process, but it's probably going to be a rambly, chatty video. I just wanted to say thank you so much uh, to those that have left some sincere comments uh, about um, the issues, or not issues, but just about being down in the last couple of videos. I'm starting to feel better. It, uh, it's nice and sunny today. I was able to get out um, the past few days just, just alone, I guess, and I was able to see some friends, which helped a lot. You'll see in the journal, this is, um, I'm doing, I'm trying to catch up, and the, I, I filmed this quite a while ago, probably end of fe February, and here I'm actually journaling, journaling about February 20th, and I was able to go to the Traveler's Factory Shop in Narita and also visit Momo Loves Paper and My Decorated Mess. I will post their links down below, and so I was able to meet them at the actual uh, Narita Airport store, which was a really, I guess that really helped. Um, it's it's nice to to see friends. <laughs> it's really nice to see friends, and that kind of helped me get back into things uh, little by little. Uh, I'm not saying that I'm like 100% better, but I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, I think it was really helpful to know that I was not alone, and that there were other people that were experiencing the same issues of feeling a little down. It's, you know, probably February, the February blues, the winter, you know, the weather is really cold and you don't get out as much, you don't get out and get as much sunlight. Uh, here it was quite gloomy and rainy and so I was spending a lot of the times indoors with my kids playing indoors and it was probably a lot of different factors and so I'm starting to get a little bit, I'm starting to get better trying to get out a little bit more um, it's the weather's starting to warm up so I'm able to get out and just even take a walk to the um, convenience store if I wanted to get something to eat and or get something to drink but yes so I just wanted to say thank you so so much for all of your sweet and kind comments um, I just really 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 appreciate it so thank you very very much all right, so back to my journaling spread. I This video, like I said, is going to be kind of like a catch-up in my Hobonichi Techo. I, I really need to do a flip-through. So if I have time today, I will probably try and film a flip-through video um, because I haven't shown my pages since, and think of end of January. So I have over a month to show you. And I'm a bit behind now. I think I'm about three or four days behind, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm still enjoying it very much. So you will notice on the right-hand side there, I'm uh, catching up with my Hobonichi Challenge. We use the hashtag Hobonichi Challenge on Instagram, and you can see the monthly prompts there. Uh, there's a cupcake, I think a Macintosh apple, a duffel bag, a can of soda or pop, and tulips, and um, donuts with sprinkles, I think it was. The month of February was all about red and pink, so um, I'm just trying to catch up there. So that's, you'll see the 22nd, I think it was February 22nd, I was just in a low, in a heavy, heavy slump. Um, but yes, like I said, I'm a lot better. You will you'll might see my pages once in a while uh, showing up where I'm feeling a little bit low, but I like to document that in my journals. Um, just so that I can remember how I was feeling on a certain day or if there are certain trends maybe, um, certain time of the month maybe, you know, it's just for me it's really helpful to look back and see uh, how I was feeling on a certain day or how I was feeling during a certain season. I think it's, it's really good for me to have that in my journal. Um, I'm just showing you the, the, what is it called, junk journal. Um, the junk journal cover that I was working on with just uh, scraps of fabric I think I showed that to you in my other video as well, but I just wanted to, um, I drew about it on the right hand side there, um, a colorful junk journal creation and it just kind of took my mind off of things and sometimes it's nice to kind of step back and work on something else 
and um, especially when I was feeling so low I felt like I wanted to I didn't even feel like journaling I, I didn't even feel like working in my journal so I decided to step back and do something different and that's why I did the colorful junk journal creation <laughs> Uh, and like I mentioned in my previous video, I was heavily, heavily influenced by Michelle Mooney and Courtney Diaz. I will of course leave their links down below. Uh, Courtney has some beautiful collage uh, bits and pieces that I have, sewn into, I have sewn into my junk journal. But yeah, so now I'm back to the other page and because the watercolor is dry, I always like to outline my titles in uh, in black it just kind of makes the title pop up from the page and I like to uh, always outline the titles and actually I might show I think I will share with you my small little haul from the Travelers Factory Narita I ended up getting a notebook <laughs> so I will probably share that with you uh, it's funny, I actually met with Eva on a different day uh, at the Traveler's Factory in Narita and I didn't even film anything. I, I can't believe I didn't even take any photos or I was just, I just wanted to talk to her and just have some interaction and just, I, I don't know what, what, what it was. I didn't even get to really film <laughs> or uh, take any photos at the actual Traveler's Factory. And even at the, uh, when I was there with Momo and Mia, uh, my, my decorated mess I didn't really buy much I actually bought I actually revisited the shop uh, once uh, we went our separate ways I went back to the store and did some shopping alone <laughs> uh, it's just funny how things work out I guess and that picture there on the bottom on, on my right hand side there is a picture of my son with the sakura drink the the convenience stores and things are out with the sakura flavored limited edition sakura flavored drinks i'm really i really like sakura flavored items the top uh, left hand corner you'll see the sakura drink flavor uh, the suck the starbucks one that that's sold in the convenience stores and they don't sell them anymore now it's it's march i think it's a february thing once it's end of february it kind of they finish the limited edition stuff so Unfortunately, they don't have it in the stores where I am anymore, but so I decided to stick the photos in there. I like to add washes a washes of watercolor and I journal on top of that later on once the watercolor is dry. This uh, thank you card is from Yu Techo. I will post her Instagram below. If you are a Hobonichi or just a journaler in general, she has so many wonderful um, Instagram photo like it's her Instagram feed is really really great if you want to get creative with your Hobonichi Techo and so she sent me like a nice packet with some tea and this thank you card was part of the uh, tea packet so I decided to stick that in there I'm using uh, some washi tape to stick down the calendar sheets and I think I end up taking out my stickers and sticking some stickers all on the pages I like to stick uh, stickers on space in spaces that I feel like are kind of empty it just adds some color and it's really cute and it's really mindless and I really like to do that I forgot to mention Momo gave me a box of girl guide cookies the I think I drew a picture there on the right hand side the Savannah's Savannah smiles I think that's what they're called they're like white little white powdery cookies <laughs> they were so good and there's like a little lemon flavor to them I just gobbled up and gobbled the box up in a couple days. It's I really miss North American cookies. It's just something about them. Um, so yeah, I kind of drew a picture of that. It's not really really good, but I wanted to document that in my journal, my whole bunch of Uh Yeah, I think I think you'll just see me sticking some stickers down. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say is thank you so much for subscribing. I actually reached 23,000, which is crazy. I I want to give myself a goal for 2019, but I don't know what's really realistic. How do you set goals? Do you set yourself a realistic goal and then something that's a little bit more ambitious? Or do you go go big or go home and start really ambitious from the beginning? 
I really don't know, uh, to be honest with you. I've never really set myself any goals for YouTube or social media. I've never told myself I want to have an X amount of followers or I want to have X amount of videos up every week. I mean, I always want to have at least one video up a week and I've been doing that consistently for a while now. Um, but I never, I've never, I don't, I don't know. I, ne I, I want to change things up. I want to um, have those goals in place so that I can work towards them. I find that filming videos and doing, you know, working in my journals is kind of like my hobby in a way um, because I have my work with the stationary selection and with stationary work. I feel like filming videos and sharing with you my process is really my hobby and I really enjoy doing it. I know it sounds weird, but I enjoy editing and talking to you and I enjoy the interaction. So. To me, it's like a hobby and I don't feel like I should set any goals. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Um, but uh, at the same time, I want to set something in place so that I can look or work towards something. So I've been thinking about maybe setting a goal of like an, you know, a subscriber amount. Maybe I should set myself up to... I know I, I don't want to say 25,000 because I maybe it's that's something that's reasonable. Maybe I should set something up higher, maybe 35,000, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I, I'm curious, how, how do you set your goals for, do you set goals for hobbies or do you set any um, plans for your hobbies? Uh, I'm curious to know, so leave a comment down below. So I think I am just outlining, I'm outlining the watercolor title there with some mild liner. I've been really interested in purchasing more markers and uh, mild liners and things like that. The only mild liner I actually have is this blue, bluish color and um, like a soft gray. And that's all I have. I know it's kind of crazy. I, I don't know. I, I want to, I want to get more, but at the same time, I am on a, I don't want to say I'm on a no spam because it's it's broken, it's totally out the window. But I want to be aware of what I purchase. So yes, so I'm curious, do you have the other mild liner colors? Do you have a favorite color? Do you think I should maybe start with purchasing a little, not the whole set, but maybe a couple more? If you have a favorite color of mild liner please leave a comment down below and let me know I was looking for like a coral color but I have the Tombow color dot the Tombow play color dot in the coral color so I don't think I need another coral I don't want to get like double color markers but yeah I thought it was fun to use my marker or the mild liner to outline the watercolor title and I think that's it for my pages for catching up in my journal I really like these funny stickers. Um, you can see there the little funny man <laughs> crouching. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for sticking by, for watching, and for all of your lovely, lovely comments. I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.